Well, hello there. Yes, I sound like a dying pig, but I am not. Um, I swear, I'm just pretty sick and it's all in my head. Um, <laughs> not mentally, but like physically, you know, like I have a sore throat and I don't have a voice. And this is actually really good, but like it's been really bad. So, while I have somewhat of a voice, I decided to record a video for you guys because I haven't exactly been uploading on time recently because I've been kind of sick and just dealing with a lot of stuff. Um, if you saw my recent video, I was kind of depressed. Um, and I'm trying to work through that and get better. So, where this is going to be a happy video. We're going to make a happy video today. Um, I asked you guys on Instagram and YouTube to send me some questions and I was going to answer them. And I got a lot. So, let's get started. So the first question is from Hannah, and she says, if you had a million dollars and you had to spend it in one weekend, how would you do it and what would you spend it on and why? Okay, so if I had a million dollars, oh, so I would take my best friend Abby and Juliana, my boyfriend Hunter, and my mother, and um, I would go... I'm really sorry that you're the only boy hunter, <laughs> but it's not really how it is anyways. Um, and I would take us all to travel the world on a jet so we can get there faster. Um, we'd definitely start with Paris. Um, we'd spend half of the day there. Um, we go as fast as we can and hit all the places. Um, and then, you know, we would go maybe to like Greece and um, places in Europe. Just mainly Europe, really, honestly. And we would hit all the shopping malls. And if I had a million dollars, let me tell you, I would go to a lot of Forever 21s. Um, and we'd go into a spas. I'm sorry, Hunter, again. And we would do a bunch of girly things with Hunter there. Um, it would be amazing. And I would... Someone would give me a million dollars just for a week. And, like, can we, like... I'd also put down a down. I, I would buy a house as well. I'd buy two houses, one for my parents and one for me and somebody. I don't know. Um, next question is from Julie. She says, "Why are you so cute? Can we meet? Do a meetup? Because let's be best friends, please." Okay, I don't do meetups, but I would love to meet you up. Um, you can do. You can DM me if you want on Instagram. I'll be sure to reply. We can have a conversation or two. And I can get to know you. And you can get to know me. Grace says, Favorite haircut you've ever gotten? Well, um, this might actually be my favorite haircut I've ever gotten. Um, I don't know if you can see the back. But I really like this haircut. Um, so yeah, I think this one also, probably my first um, pixie cut was probably my other favorite. Um, it was just really clean and cute, and it was new, and I loved it, and I still do, and I kind of want to get that haircut back, but, you know. What's your inspiration for everything? So it's cutest underscore trash can. <laughs> um, I don't honestly have an inspiration. I've never really been, in, like, a person to have a certain person in your life or um, a model to um, be inspirational to me. Um... I don't know, um, I really don't have an inspiration for everything, um, let alone for really anything. Um, there's people that I think are really, really cool and, like, stand out to me, um, but I don't, I wouldn't, like, have them as an inspiration for everything, so I'm sorry. Shelby says, rain or shine, rain, 100%. Favorite dessert and why? Um, <clears throat> my favorite dessert. It would definitely, most definitely be ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. Because I only get it, like, once a year, if that. And so it makes it special. But it also, it tastes so good. Favorite food? Chinese food. Most definitely Chinese food. What do you think about body mods? And what is one that you would never try? Um, so I had to Google this. <laughs> um, but body mods are, like... Uh, body stretchings and piercings um, I'm not into any of them um, it's just something that I, I wouldn't put on my body I mean, it's not that I'm against them whatsoever I think that they're really cool on some people and um, if it's a way that to um, you know just be yourself like then go for it it's just something that I wouldn't do not necessarily just because 
I wouldn't like I just don't I'm just not like into them how old are you I am 16 years old my birthday is in August um where are you from I am from Pennsylvania where would you want to travel I would want to travel everywhere but specifically um, probably Paris anywhere really in um, Europe or New Zealand so you want to hit me up with some tickets I'd be down <laughs> why are you so pretty um, cuz my mom's genetics overruled my father's genetics oh and you're from Austria girl hit me up what's your current obsession my current obsession um my new iPhone 7 that's a current obsession. Don't I hate the case, but like I love this phone so much. Any favorite songs currently? Well, let's let's go to my music. I've been listening to the Next to Normal album a lot, and I like Hey Number One <laughs> a lot. I listen to it to, on repeat. There's like three Hey's, literally songs. Listen to them. the album. It's fantastic. The musical is fantastic. Oh, are you a fan of Hamilton? No, I, I don't. I've never listened to Hamilton. I'm not really into. I'm not really into Hamilton. I'm sorry. Emily Taylor says, "Why are you so fresh?" Um. Well, Emily Taylor. Cause my mom made me that way. I don't know. Nathan Irwin says, Why did my parents not love me? Um. Isimba says, If we are trying to cut our hair like yours when we go to the hair salon, what do you tell them? Because I don't know what to show them or reference it to. So, um, I would either just reference a picture of me since you want my hair cut like me, um, just show them. Um, you can even DM me and I'll send you a picture of the full 360, but currently this is what my hair looks like right now. So if you don't want this specific haircut, um, it's a lot different from my original haircut. Um, just show them a picture of me or Ruby Rose. Do you watch Sherlock? Of course I watch Sherlock! What's your favorite song at the moment? Like I said earlier, I don't really have a favorite song that I'm just listening to over and over again. Um, oh, wait a second. So I've been listening to this one song by Tom Waddell, and it is called um, Heal, and it is extremely good. It is so good. Um, and do I wear makeup every day? I don't wear it every day if I'm not leaving the house, then I don't put it on, but I'll put it on for work or um, if I do leave the house. Um, it's a rare occasion that I don't wear any makeup or even just don't do my brows. It's not that I find makeup um, a necessity, but I really enjoy doing my makeup. Like it's something that I look forward to in the morning, so that's why I do it. Rumba Selfrego says, can I be featured in your video? Mm, no, I'm sorry. Beatrice Brown says, how are you so fabulous? Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Mother made me that way. What do you think about art and what's your idea about it? Uh, I find art one of the most beautiful ways that you can um, express yourself. It is th the most beautiful way that you can express yourself. I don't think that art is just um, drawing a picture or painting. Um, I think that art is so many different things. Art is music. Um, art is just writing even. Art is in everything and art is so beautiful. I don't think that uh, this world would be a happy place whatsoever. I don't think there would be any happiness in the world if there wasn't any art because art is just in everything literally has a bit of art in it no matter the way that you look at it or not. So art, art is beautiful. Who was your inspiration for your hair? I already said this, but Ruby Rose was definitely my inspiration for my first haircut. Um, I had gone through pictures and pictures, and I finally found uh, Ruby Rose, and all of her hair 
styles I loved and so I asked them to cut it as hers. How do you find the inspiration to write your songs? I've written a few of my own but I can't quite find a melody or music to go along with the lyrics. Um, so normally my inspiration um, is about my current life or somebody's life around me. Um, it normally has to affect me quite a lot to um, be able to get it out on paper. I start out with um, always on my guitar though, um, so then I can write a melody first. It's normally a four chord um, progression and then for the Normally it kind of stays the same throughout the entire song. Normally the bridge it changes, sometimes the chorus it changes. But um, as long as you like have a four chord um, progression to start out with, it'll it'll be a lot easier to write that way. Um, some people write their lyrics first, but for me it's a lot easier to um, put it out on guitar and just start playing those four chords over and over again. And then I finally like will start getting some inspiration and some words. Um, Inspiration doesn't necessarily have to come from um, something that you're dealing with yourself, but um, like something that happened in the world, or something that you read, or s someone, a, f a friend's um, life currently. Um, writing is the best way to cope. Um, it's the best way to get out your feelings and your pain, and that's um, why I do it. Um, I do it because I don't have a way to um, take my pain out on anything um, and I have a really hard time coping um, I choose the bad routes when it comes to coping um, I do the extreme and um, writing has sometimes helped me um, get away from that and stray away from that so I really encourage you to um, write down your feelings and emotions and you can turn it into poetry or songs because it's the best way and it's the most beautiful way to take out your pain and make it into something beautiful. And the last question is, can I really DM you on Instagram? Yes, you can. <laughs> Any of you can. I will most definitely reply. Even if it takes me a little while, I will definitely reply. I love having conversations with you because I love getting to know you, my, my friends on the internet. And you guys are so great and I love you all so much. Um, thank you so much for listening to my raspy voice. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked me telling you guys some answers to your questions. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button and become one of us. Um, the... I don't know. Think of a name down there <laughs> and we'll pick out a name. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!